Hi, it's Snorkel. Welcome back to Fall of Porcupine. So we were going to head off to the, the cafe and see what it is. Hmm. What should I get? Hey, Lisa. Mia, hey. Are you on a break? Who's this you brought with you? Have we met? I don't think so. I'm Finley. Nice to meet you. I guess you're on internal medicine too. I don't think I can do what you do. But if you want me to cut something out for you, just say the word. Get side what to eat. Don't see anything you like the look of? Oh, quite the opposite. All the dishes sound delicious. Really? Yes. Serge is an amazing cook. With knife skills like that, he'd fit right in at the surgery. I'd like to see that. Go on ahead. I need a moment to decide. All right, thank you. What can I get you, kid? What have we got? Art, the finest culinary art in town. Just choose your artwork and prepare to be taken on a wild journey. This is my kind of chef. Now, I don't want to presume your personal taste and I can highly recommend the pineapple wrap. Sweet yellow fruit combined with crunchy lamb's lettuce and pickled artichoke hearts. A gourmet's delight. So go on. What'll it be? What would you like, Mia? Mm, I don't care. You pick something. I'll eat just about anything right now. Okay, I would like... The pineapple wrap. Ah, the pineapple wrap. I see you're a doctor of good taste. Bon appetit to you both. Enjoy. Generally take what the chef recommends. Hmm. How is it? The wrap? Uh, interesting, I guess. What do you think of it? I'll be honest. I can't stand pineapple. But I didn't want to complain. And I was so hungry, I didn't care. But I actually meant work. How's it going for you? We both started here just weeks ago. And I realized that we haven't even talked about experiences yet. Sometimes that helps. To reflect on yourself, I mean. That's what my parents always say. True. Somehow we haven't had a chance yet. Well, I think I like the, the St. Ursula's. I don't know that many hospitals yet, but I think we made a good choice. Yeah, probably. And the staff are really nice. That's true. But Dr. Krawski can be mm, pretty nasty. Yeah, she's really been eating me alive too. But I'll win her over. Sure, sure. I just wish I was more punctual. Every day I come rushing into the last minute and you're already here, ready to go. I need to work on that. Yeah. Is everything okay? You don't have to draft if you don't like it. Well, I... Mm. Oh. Bon appétit, my dear colleagues. You too. How do you like Serge's cuisine? Pretty good so far. Yeah, pretty good. Good, good. That's what I like to hear. When the staff are happy, I'm happy too. I'm sorry I missed the opportunity to introduce myself the other day. It didn't seem like the right time, so I was hoping I could make it up to you now. My name is Ronan Eindrick. I'm the executive director of St. Ursula's Hospital. I try to keep things running as smoothly as I can and to fulfill the wishes of our dear chief physician, Dr. Theobald, and the staff, of course. My top priority is the welfare of our patients. That's how it always has been, and that's how it always will be. The two of you are new here, so I just wanted to report that, impart that information to you personally. Especially since some of you had a difficult start here. That would be me. I don't blame for the incident with the earnest. You're new, and mistakes can happen. And I see no ill intent in your actions. You only wanted to be the best for the patient. So much that you won't put your own health at risk. Nevertheless, we have to make certain accommodations for him. He's now at the best care center in the country where he will rec hopefully recover quickly. I'm glad to hear it. I hope he gets better soon. Anyway, enough of such matters. Let us look to the future and continue to make St. Ursula's Hospital a place of healing. I'm glad to have you both on board. That's what I really wanted to tell you. Huh. 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 <laughs> 
All right, time for me to go. <laughs> After an awkward pause, don't you want to eat anything? No, thank you. I satiated my appetite some time ago. Besides, work never sleeps. Enjoy your meal and your work. Huh. That was weird. That was interesting. <laughs> yep. <laughs> that was very strange and awkward. <laughs> Are you done? I definitely am now. Let's get back up to the board then. Mr. Heinrich Wright. Work never sleeps in this hospital. Okay, let's go. Are we automatically transported up there? No, we're not. Hello? This wrap tastes weird. Does it? How do you mean? I'm not sure. I love pineapples, but something's off. Hmm. Are you on medication right now? Yes, a few different kinds, actually. But I'm afraid I can't remember the names. I see. Well, I'm not one just blindly throw diagnosis around. But it could be that the drugs are affecting your taste buds. Really? Mm-hmm. That could happen. Oh, okay. What's over here? Nothing. Okay, well, let's go back then. Come on, Mia. Back we go. Oh, hello. <laughs> I made friends with my roommate in the ward. Makes staying here so much more bearable. Oh, that's nice. Ah, that's what I like to see. Two happy full faces. Tell me, what did you make of your culinary journey? Try to put it in words. It was incredible. It was yummy, delicious. Mmm. Mm. Ah, excellent. I love sharing my world with those around me. Enjoy. Enjoy. Thank you. Goodbye. That was strange. Why did she lie? Do we have to go back up ourselves manually? Uh, let's take the elevator. The elevator right here. Uh oh, man! What the scorp? Are you serious? You piece of crap! Hello. Who's that? Where's it coming from? The elevator, maybe. We should check. I think the voice is coming from in here. Hello. Is someone in there? No. The hospital installed one of those new talking elevators. Wah! The stupid door stuck. Why does this keep happening to me? We need to help him. Yeah, what can we do? We should get the danger. He can open the door, right? Gregor, that old fart, he's the reason I'm stuck in here in the first place. If he touches the elevator, it'll probably blow up. I'm going to wring his neck. Do you want to get out of there or not? Yeah, I guess. I just got some surgery on the second floor. That's where I saw the old the old bunglers coking around. All right. Finley, you go to surgery and find Gregor. I'll go back to our ward and stay on the call in case anyone needs anything. Good plan. Thanks. Can I go? Okay, I get it. Gregor's our only hope. But that doesn't mean I have to like it. But I guess I can get the door but I guess I can't get the door open with gauze bandages and IV fluids. And I'm starving. Please don't eat any of the medical supplies. Are you crazy? That stuff tastes awful. We tried it? Look, night shifts can get pretty long, okay? Just hang in there. I'm going to look for Gregor. Like I said, I just saw him in surgery. All right, I'll fetch him. I'll be right back, okay? Hurry up. The walls are closing in on me. Want to get my hands on that broom swinger? Ugh. It's hot, so hot. Oh, I see. A light. Grandma Gertie, is that you? All right. Uh, yeah, I guess we'll go up. So we need to go up to two. Remember, this is European floor numbering, so that's we start on the ground floor. What we call North America the second floor is, in fact, the first floor. Here's the second floor. Okay, where is he? There he is. Excuse me. Gregor. There you are. What's up with that blasted light? I need your help. Yeah, yeah, everyone needs old Gregor's help. Won't even give me the time of day when everything's running smoothly. But one flickering light on a squeaky door, and Gregor, it's help this, help that. Mr. Glintower, the elevator is stuck. Take it easy, kid. I can't, can't you see I'm busy here? But there's someone stuck in the elevator. Give me a hand here, kid. There's a panel breaker at the end of the hall. 
head over there and switch the breaker when I give you the signal, okay? But one thing at a time. After that, will you help me with the elevator? I'm the janitor, ain't I? Okay. Uh, the end of the hall. I don't know which end, so I'm just going to check one. Hey, is that a door with coffee on it? Neat. I like coffee doors. Okay, I guess this is the wrong way. We'll go the other way. I should really put that on my on my office door. Delicious hot coffee. Not for you, for me. Oh, hello. What brings you to the surgery? I'm looking for Gregor, the janitor. Oh, Glenny, I see him. As it happens, here he is here. I think he's fiddling around with some lights or other. What do you need him for? He doesn't like when people distract him. Someone's stuck in the elevator. The doors won't open. My goodness, this is hospital really does have a life of its own. Well then, don't let me take up any more time. Good luck, Finley. Thank you. Who are you? Looking for Gregor? Check upstairs. That's wrong information. <laughs> okay. Okay, this is probably the only breaker panel here. There goes nothing. Okay, ready? Yes. All right. Wait a minute. Put this in here. Fiddle around here. That should do it. Okay, now! Arg. Uh-oh. Everything okay? I'll just take a quick look. <laughs> this is not good. <laughs> Uh oh, there. Are you an armor doll? Mr. Glenda, are you okay? Ugh. Yeah, I'll live. Takes one little electric shock to stop me. Well, that's a relief. Maybe you should lie down for a moment if all the same. Baloney. You want to make an omelet? You got to break a few eggs. Besides, look, the lights are working again. I have still got it. Will you help me now? Help? Oh, your elevator thing. Give me a moment. I'll just need a quick break, and then I'll take a look. Heep, okay. <laughs> okay, there we go. Finally. I was about to sign a lease on this thing. Oh, you again. Should have known. Carl, it's you. I've been wondering, where were you all day? I knew that voice sounded familiar. Huh, what? I thought you knew it was me. Don't you recognize the angelic voice of your favorite colleague? I'll try to burn it into my brain for the future use. Anyway, I'm glad you're out of the elevator now. Oh yeah, right. Freedom! Ah, that sweet, sweet scent. Thought I was going to die in there. Thank Finley, you really are a good buddy. I owe you one. Gregor, you old bungler, it's your fault I got stuck in there in the first place. And now it's my fault you're out again. You're welcome. I'm leaving now. I don't like Gregor. <laughs> One of these days. Are you all right? What? All right. Yeah, I'm all good. Just short on time. I already had loads to do today. Could have done without the involuntary lunch break. It's stairs only for me from now on. Should help me keep fit at least. Is there anything else I can help you with? You could clone me. Or take a second job as a nurse. Or buy a new elevator. All good options. Right? All right, enough chit chat. I gotta go. I need to get a snack somewhere before my next stop. And you need to get back up to the ward. You know Kurowski by now. The steam's probably coming out of her ears already. Thanks again for the help, buddy. If you're up for it later, I'll buy you a drink at Gilbert's. Think about it. Laters. Okay, cool. But, what about the boxes? I guess they'll sort it out. I really should get back to the ward now. Okay, I can't take the elevator because it's out of commission. That's okay. Uh, take the stairs. We seem to go up a floor anyway, so that's fine. Oh, oh wait. Well, I forgot. We are not on the second floor. We are on... Now we're on the first floor. A.K.A. the second floor. Now we're on the second floor. A.K.A. the third floor. And now we're on the third floor. A.K.A. the fourth floor. Here I am. Did everything go okay? Yeah, how about you? Took quite a while. Who's in the elevator? 
Carl. <laughs> Typical. <laughs> Have you seen Dr. Karowski? Yeah, she's in the break room. She tends to retreat there when evening starts closing in. I don't think she's really taking a break, though. It kind of defeats the purpose of this room. I'll let her know I'm, ch I'm clocking off, then can finally relax for the evening. You do that. I'm going to do some sports. You can join me if you want. It'll be fun. Not a bad idea. I'll think about it. I don't do sports. So where's the break room? The break room is... It's the one with the coffee thing on the door. I don't know. Is it to the left? Daggone it. That's restroom. Nope. Okay. I swear. <laughs> My sense of direction in games is pathetic. Boop. Okay. P31, P32, P33. Here we go. Break room. Boop. Jeez, what a mess. Finley, I have a question. Do you have some other job here that I don't know about? Or two, or two, even? What do you mean? Well, you seem to have a lot on your mind wherever you're here. Otherwise, you're presumably doing your job. Like everybody else here does. Don't take this personally. I don't enjoy pointing things out. I do it because it's my job. Don't assume that the rest of the team can make up for every shortcoming. Just as you rely on others, they must also be able to rely on you. Please think about what I've said. But Carl was... I know. And I also know that you were helping him. Nevertheless, I need to make sure we're clear on this. Thank you for your work today. Tomorrow is your first night shift, as I'm sure you know. That will give you another chance to prove yourself. I don't I don't understand what your point is. <laughs> okay, what a jerk. Our boss hates us. <laughs> uh we'll go this way. I'm assuming the elevator is still gonna be out of commission. I'm assuming. Yep. Well, let's go down. Done for the evening. I wonder if we can get fired. Nope. There we go. Two. One. And ground floor. Yep. All right. Hello? So, any plans for Afterbrook? Yeah, I'm going out again. <laughs> it's your first night tomorrow, right? Yeah, finally a chance to sleep in a bit. You better head. Scary things happen at night here. Demons, monsters, that kind of thing. The spirits of the seas all get into all sorts of mischief, you know? You're kidding, right? No, it's all true. Some people got insane on their first night shift. Or even disappeared completely. I mean, look at you. You've only had one late shift, and you didn't even come out of that unharmed. But that was just a stupid accident. Could have happened any time of day. Sure it could have. Or could it? I'll let you answer that one. Uh, I'm leaving now. <laughs> yes, flee, flee. <laughs> Weirdo. That's nice the way they do that. The way they do that. That's really nice. I like that way it changes clothes automatically. A little bit of a match cut there. There you are. How's it looking? Are you come down to sports court with me? I want to get some exercise tonight. Uh, I want to go to Gilbert's. Maybe another time. I've already agreed to meet up with Carl. He wants to buy me a beer for helping him with the elevator thing today. Fair enough. If you change your mind, I'll be at the sports court down at the school. See you later. Cool, let's go. Let's head off. Oh, look at that reflection. So nice. Oh, can't do anything with the bear this time? Duck on it. All right, we're going to go to Gilbert's. Not giving us anything to play around. Let's see what does it say. What a day. Walk might do me good. Or on the other hand, I'd really like to go to bed. I'd rather walk. We're going to go to Gilbert's. Hey, look, those hay rolls in the background. All right. See, see what's happening at Gilbert's. We, I don't think we've been in Gilbert's yet. We'll take a slightly nice little nature detour there. Yeah. 
Yeah, that, nothing's interesting. Nothing is distracting us this time as they have in the past. That's curious. Very curious. Mm. Come on, let's go. I'm assuming we'll know when we get the Gilberts. This artwork in this game is marvelous. Yep, there's the... There's the town fountain that doesn't seem to fountain. Who's this? Oh, this is the guy from the hospital. Get lost. Okay. I don't like you. Let's see. Finley. Cool. Glad you could make it. I've been waiting for you. Take a seat. I've got <laughs> I've got one going spare. How long have you been here? Not long, just got here. Already three beers down though. <laughs> hey, I was thirsty. It's important to stay hydrated. <laughs> Get us two beers, would you, Giuliano? The biggest, coldest you've got. For me and my liberator here. Coming right up. Nice. Hanging out with a colleague? Ah, oh, that's the stuff. That first cool bill after work is the best. Thought you'd already had three. First, second, third. Who's counting? Besides, it's your first, and that's why it's the best. All right. Officially, this time. Thanks, thanks for me getting out of the today. I don't like to admit it, but that elevator felt really cramped. At one point, I thought I'd never make it out. It's incredible how much trouble that old thing causes. It's a death trap. You've seen it for yourself. You can say that again. But I'm glad you're back on your feet again. It just goes to show how young and fit you are. A knock like that won't keep you down for long. How's it going after your accident? Have you gotten back into the groove all right? It's okay, yeah. Dr. Krauski has been putting even more pressure on me since I got back. Don't let Krauski get to you. Easier said than done. You'll get used to it, I promise. You were there today, were, were you, weren't you, Giuliano? Yeah, unfortunately, my mother. Yeah, I know. We'll get old Irma well again, though. <laughs> I know you will. I'm worried, of course, but I trust you. Thanks for taking care of my ma, Finley. I know she's in good hands with you. Anytime, Juliana. Just make sure the room doesn't take up even more of your day. <laughs> How do you mean? My mother likes to tell stories. They're good, no doubt about that. I would loved listening to her stories when I was a kid. They can also be quite captivating. Yep. I feel like playing a game. Any ideas? I think I have an old board game here somewhere. Should be upstairs in the closet. I'll get it, Juliano. I want to stretch my legs a bit anyway. Very kind of you, Finley. The storerooms upstairs head past the guest rooms right to the end of the corridor. Guest rooms, wow. Should be there on a shelf somewhere. Got it. Be right back. Don't get lost. No promises on that at all. All right, let's see. So nobody I can talk to. There's that stupid jerk. Upstairs. Uh, let's see. Wait, is it? It's not over here. No. Past the restrooms. Oh, hello. Who are you? This beer tastes weird. But I find that painting fascinating. The grace, the lines, form and color in perfect harmony. Okay, um, you're odd. There we go. Got it. Sweet. Boop. That was easy. <laughs> Jerk. Whoa, that looks old. That's my favorite game when I was little. I used to love playing it with my dad. Can you tell us the rules? Sure, of course. As you know, I come from a long line of boxers. A lot of my family have dedicated their lives to boxing. Just like I did for a few years. The game works like a boxing match. You roll the dice to move your pieces in the ring. Only move in opposite directions. When you land on a fight space, you fight. And how do we fight? With cards. You draw cards when you land on a space card, and then you complete one full circuit around the boxing ring. Each card has a number from one to seven. The attacker plays the card face down. The number on their card is the strength of their attack. The defender needs to guess how much power to put into the defense. If the number on the defender's card is lower than the number on the attacker's card, the defender takes the difference as damage. 
defender's number is equal to or higher than the attacker's block, then they, or they then the attackers they block the attack successfully. Whoever runs out of energy first hits the canvas. Why are board games so complicated? You get the hang of it. Just pick up as you go along. When you started, I'm gonna kick your butt, Carl. All right, let's go. Okay. Oh, that's so confusing, but okay. I suck at board games, but that's okay. Three, two, one, fight. Keep yourself fit. Hold A to charge your throw. Release A to throw. Score a basket with a special ball to get three points. Whoever has the most points at the end is the winner. Let's go. Okay. Three. Okay, I move three. Fight. Uh, sure. Then one. Oh, even. Dug on it. Okay, then move one. Oh, dear. Uh, sure. Two, four. Uh oh, I got hit. Ugh. Dog on it. Okay, roll. Three, four, five. Oh, I got another card. Sweet. Okay, they move. Okay, they get, they get cards. I guess you get two cards every time you land on one of the card things. Oh, I have six more. Oh, fight. Dog on it. I thought it was, did I move seven? Let's see. That's seven, three, four, five. Let's do six. What are you doing? Hmm? Oh, darn it. Oh, wait, that, was, wait, wait, that was good or bad? I'm so confused. I haven't mentioned I really, really suck at board games. <laughs> okay, let's see. What do we got? Five, two, three, four, five. Good cards. Two. Okay, wait. Why is he that one? Two. Two, three. Okay, get more cards. Do you have a ton of cards? Maybe I have more than enough? Not sure. Okay, one, two, three, four. Is this, this must be random. Like the rolls must be random. One, two, three, fight! Let's see, what do we got? Um, let's see. Let's do seven. Okay, so it's, so it's, wait, why did I lose? They're even though, I don't understand. I, I really don't understand that. I'm, I'm so confused. Oh, great. I'm gonna lose. Did I lose? No, I, get, I don't, I'm so confused. Maybe one was a one? Oh, man. Uh-oh, fight. Okay. Let's see. That's two, three, four, five. I think that's a seven. Maybe not a one. Maybe the other ones I thought was a seven was a one. Maybe. And say do other European things. Okay, so it's even. So, okay, okay. Maybe that was it. I thought it was a seven. It was a one. Fight. <laughs> uh... Let's do five. And, okay, he's damaged two, got it. So we're, we're tied now. Three hearts to three hearts. And, but he gets a card. He gets two cards. Oh no. Can I get cards? One, two, three, four, five. I can't get cards, darn it. Oh wait, I got one. Okay, oh I got two, great. Okay, they get more cards, except they're max cards, so they don't. One, two, three, four, fight. Let's see, two, three, four, uh, let's wait. Five, let's do six. Tied, nobody gets hurt. One, fight. Okay, well, we're gonna do five. Uh-oh. Oh, dear. This is not good. Oh, man. <laughs> I, need, I need cards. Help. <laughs> I need cards badly. I'm doing horrible. <laughs> this is awful. <laughs> Help. <laughs> okay, tied. Nobody. Whew. Can I please get cards? Oh, no. <laughs> 
no, 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 no. I don't like this. I do not like this. <laughs> I'm going to lose. Oh, no, it's tied. Oh, oh, I see. One, two, three, four. Whew. Oh, my gosh, I needed that badly. Okay. Oh, you don't need cards. Stop it. <laughs> All right, let's see what I got. I got a four, three, four. I got cards. Ooh, sharing the same space. Look at that. Very intimate. Okay, one fight. Good. Let's see where are we going. They played one. Uh, I'm gonna, of course. I'm just gonna. I mean, my technique is just played the strongest card I have. So I get it for six, and I win, right? Wait, it was, was it, it was tied? I'm so confused. I don't. Un okay. Fight. <laughs> I mean, I'm just gonna play by I, my. I just always play the strongest card I have. I don't see why there's a reason not to. Got him. Okay. Three, four, fight. Oh, wait. I, no, that's funny. I, that's, I don't know. Yep, there you go. Oh, you pass that and you get cards. Okay, I didn't realize that. Oh, I'm going to lose this, aren't I? Oh, no. Nice. Why didn't you go down one? I'm confused. I really don't understand this game at all. <laughs> okay. Yep, fight. Come on. Can we finish it now? Nope. <laughs> Don't like it. Don't like it. Maybe I can get an odd number? Nope. <laughs> All right. Well, I think I'm, this is going to be it for me because I bet you got a seven. Uh, no. Oh, no. Wow. Okay. Oh, man. Keeps getting more cards and I keep getting fights. Yep. Okay. I get two more cards. Yep. Okay. Oh, dear. See, well, I've got a six, which is not bad. Uh, yep, I knew it. Can I get an even number, please? No. <laughs> This is it. I'm done. Oh, no, but wow. Hey, I got it. I won. Hooray. That, by the way, never happens in real life. I really, really suck at board games and lose all the time, <laughs> consistently <laughs> and thoroughly. <laughs> yeah. Didn't know you were such a good boxer. <laughs> I'm a good dice player. You're right there. <laughs> that was a great fight. Kind of makes me wistful. Sometimes I wonder if I should I should put on the old boxing gloves again. What was it like, Giuliano, being a boxer? Were you good? I was the best. The best at boasting, maybe. <laughs> Juno never actually hit anyone properly. I've never been a friend of violence, but I had a lot of fans. No change there, Giuliano. I think you do make a better barman than a boxer. You're right there. You know, a pacifist boxer is probably not a, a recipe for success. People don't come to see me fight anymore, but they still come to see me. Exactly. This town would be lost without you and Gilbert's. Yeah, I really like this place too. Thanks, guys. And Finley, I'm glad you moved here. You really are a great guy. I really appreciate what you're doing for Mama. You're always welcome here anytime. Aw. Lost for words, kid? <laughs> All right. Next round's on the house, folks. Yes! You said the magic words. <laughs> Sweet. Three rounds are the best rounds. Okay, done with the bar. Let's head home. Let's sleep in. What's this? Was this our home? Oh, wait. Let's go down. Let's go down and check. I want to check on the um, that fishing guy. I don't think he's there. Oh, hello. Hi. Evening there. Aren't you cold? I'm all right. Emergency shelter won't take me in. Been drinking. They don't like that. Helps with the weather, though. The boredom, too. But I'll get under control. Come for snow. You'll see. 
awful Mertens always gets it under control. You take care now, you hear me? I will. I will. Feel like making another investment? Price is about to boom. It's got center. Sure. Here you go. Thank you. You won't regret your investment. Take care of yourself. You too. And I will be over before you know it. Poor Walmers. Just needs a good break. All right. I want to go. I just want to go down to that. Yeah, down here and see if our buddy's there anymore. He wasn't there on the night before. He's there. Cool. You still working? The river flows steadily on, young Finley. And where where did it take you tonight? I was out with friends for a change. Usually I go to bed after work. Friends are important. They're like rocks. Form the riverbed of your life. Take good care of your riverbed, Finley. I'll do my best. You're doing a good job. Good night, Finley. Good night, Froak. A little night fishing? That's delightful. Wait. Can I go this way? Can I go this way? No, I can't. Yeah, there's nothing that way. And I don't think there's anything this way. Oops, sorry. Sorry, stop. Jump. I don't think there's anything this way. I think it's, it's yeah, it's blocked off. Okay, well, we'll go back and hit the old hay. Get a good rest. Get ready for the morning. I think we're going to splurp around all day and then hit the night shift. I don't know if they're going to let us do that, but who knows. Boop. Can't wait to sleep in tomorrow. Good night, world. Ooh, are we going to dream? Who knows? We're not. My apartment's a mess. Actually, it's not that bad, is it? I mean, it's only going on messy. <laughs> it's only get messy again anyway. And then I'll just have to tidy it up again. Maybe I should just maintain a consistent level of chaos at all times. Maybe. Eh. I should put my laundry away at least. Otherwise, it'll end up lying around all week. Hope my lazy future self appreciates this. Where's your laundry? That was, wow, that was fast. Anything there? No. We have the lid. Oh. There. Did we get it all? Whoops. What's that? Hello? Finlo! Hey! Pina, is that you? Bingo! What's up? How's stuff? What's the goss? Still in bed after the accident? Yeah, no, I'm back on my feet now. Anyway. Are you free right now by chance? Uh, yeah, actually, I'm still at home. I'm on my first night shift tonight. Well, exciting. Are you nervous? Eh, not yet. I'm sure that'll change later. <laughs> Sounds like a little distraction would do you good. You think you could swing by my store? I could use your help. Hmm. I want to check out the high street anyway. Sure, I'll stop by. Perfecto. Thank you so much. See you soon. Sweet. Wait, what's that? Carl. Nighty night. Aw, oh, that's nice. Look at that. <laughs> uh, notes. Oh my gosh. I don't want to read those now. Let's take off. Wait, can I talk? Can I talk to the plant? Did you hear that? I'm going to visit your mom's store. If you behave, I might bring you back a bag of fertilizer. Didn't say anything. Probably best. Let's go. All right, so we went to High Street. I don't know how to get to the High Street. Oop. Hey, buddy. How you doing? Well, hey there. Don't I normally see you walking the other way this time of day? Night shift. At St. Ursula's? That's right. I'm a doctor there. Oh, yeah. I've seen you heading that way in the mornings. Got me thinking, actually. I wanted to be a doctor once. Then I changed my mind. Too stressful, I figured. I was good to know a doctor, though. That's very true. And now you know a homeless guy. Who knows when that'll come in handy. Say, how are you doing health-wise? Oh, you know. 
good days and bad. My leg gives me trouble from time to time, but it's no big deal. I can't complain. Not really my style. <laughs> Are you sure? Positive. Okay, but if you want to take a look at anything, don't hesitate to ask, all right? Yes, sir. Same goes for you too, eh? Okay. I'm like, I don't, I don't know where the high street is. I don't think it's this way. Because no, it's not this way. Because this is going out of town. Maybe the high street is where Gilbert's is. Maybe. I like the way he watches me when I come, when I go running by. Nope. All right, let's let's keep going. Hello, everybody. I got I got the day off. Got to work tonight, but I'm not going to worry about that right now. No, I don't want to take that. Past these houses. Let's see. So, oh, down, oh, down here. Oh, I haven't been down here at all. Hey, was that a was that a beaver construction worker? Sweet. Okay. Oh, I don't think I've been here at all. <gasps> Look at those pastries. Oh, my sclarb. Oh, no. Pastries. My only weakness. A dastardly villain places cinnamon buns here. In broad daylight. I'll find you, you scoundrel. I will find you, and you will taste my sweet, sweet, sweet revenge. Hey, mannequin. You're doing a great job. Thank you. It's my first day. I'm really nervous. Don't be. You look great. Oh, thank you. Thank you so much. But it takes more than that to look, more than good looks to succeed in the fashion industry. Really? What else do you need? Willpower. The will to assert yourself in order to achieve your goals. And a clear head, lots of people get taken for a ride on their first job. I got myself a successful agent straight away. They handle all my management now. That sounds good. Maybe I should try it. I should got what it takes? I think so. What's the pay like? I, um, I have to go to work now. Stop distracting me. <laughs> the fashion shows the world are depending on me. Okay, good luck. I'll keep my fingers crossed for you. When you look as good as me, you don't need luck. Okay, weirdo. What is this? Hold on. I used to love sending postcards. <laughs> if I ever have the time, I'll send them to my parents. I'm sure they'll be delighted. I don't remember the last time. Hello, who are you? Hi, my name is Chloe Colbert. I run Origami, the stationery store. Do you have a moment to answer a few questions? Sure, what's up? Oh, super. Well, I've noticed that our revenues have been in decline for some time. So we're conducting a survey of Porcupine's residents to see what we can do. All right, shoot away. All right. So first question. Approximately how many pens do you own? Wow, that's a tough one right off the bat. I guess I had to put a number on it, maybe five? Five pens, okay, okay. How many times did you use a pen? I need to use a lot of them when I was at university. These days, I do most things digitally. Even the hospital went digital just before I moved to Porcupine. I see. What about paper? Do you use paper? For writing? Not so much. Okay. All right, that's it. Thank you so much for your time. We'll try to pivot our portfolio to meet the current needs of Porcupine's population. No problem. Happy to help. Wait, what's this? No pedestrian zone is complete without a hair salon. At least this one doesn't have some labored pun in its name. Here today, gone tomorrow. Curl up and die. Shortcuts. I've seen them all before, and every time they make my skin crawl. Come on now, lighten up there. Finley. Oh no! <gasps> Oops. <laughs> Finbo, are you okay? Are you hurt? Am I dead? <laughs> You're the unluckiest person I know, you know that? I just wanted to come and help. <laughs> I know, thanks. And you really have too. What do you mean? I needed a, an idea for my facade. Looks like you've sorted that out for me. I'm just glad I brought all the pants in first. <laughs> that looks suits you. You should wear it more often. You think? Absolutely, it adds that much needed touch of color to your face. What if it dries on me? You want to come and wash up? I better, right? <laughs> I don't want to stain the beds with the, with the word, on the word later. Let's get to it then. That's my super duper fast dry paint you're wearing there. Okay, it's going to clean me up. 
Mostly. That's more like it. You really are walking disaster, aren't you? First a box hits you in the head, now a bucket of paint. Okay, neither one was really my fault. Maybe it really is just bad luck, but... You know what? I just realized something. I haven't even been inside your store before. Nice place you have here. I'm impressed. Oh, thank you. Put a lot of work into it. How's business going? How do you think? I love my plants. And so does everyone else. Are you still looking for an assistant? If you're interested in the position, I'll be expecting a formal application, young man. Hey, it's worth a shot. How's your head? I'm starting to get used to the bumps. We'll buy you a helmet with a capital F on it. That way, everyone can see you coming. And ruin my hair? Never. You got time for a day out tomorrow? You know, I don't actually want a helmet, right? <laughs> no, I want to go to the Glow, work wo <laughs> glow Milk Woods. Want to come with me? Finley, can you hear me? Hello? What? I think I still have pain in my ears. <laughs> Some careless person dropped a bucket on my head. I'm really sorry. <laughs> it's all right. Yeah, man. Woodlands air is so good for the health. Great. Okay, time for me to head to my night shift. See you tomorrow, then. We'll just meet up at the store again, okay? And watch your head, Finley. Can I go into th can I do anything else? Oh, what's, wait, what's this? You want all your flowers with this tap? What? No. I've got some strange notions of how your job, my job works. Okay, sorry. Jeez. Wow, it's a lot of plants. I mean, good thing it's a plant store. <laughs> yep, raised them all myself. Is my plant from this shelf too? Yes, I picked it out. Really pretty one for you. Oh, thanks. But I think they're all pretty. <laughs> all right, let's go. After the shift, I wish I would could have been able to wash all of the paint off my noggin. I think I have to go back. Yeah, there's me. Oh, man. Now everyone will see how much of an idiot I am. Awkward. And why does my silhouette just look all fat? I need to start exercising again. I think you look fat. I think you look fabulous. Hello? Still out here? Are you all right? You look a little pale. <laughs> yeah, I'm fine. Good. I'm about to hear that. Maybe I should close up for the day. Maybe. I mean, it's, it's quite late. <laughs> oh, look at those pastries. Oh, my gosh. Sorry. <laughs> okay. I'm going to go up here. I think we head up a little bit. Yeah, we do a little transition. And then we head back here. Hey, that beaver's still up there. Let's talk to him. And then we go up to the hospital. Up. Hello, sir and or ma'am. You again. We're doing work on a town fountain today. I want to take the high street today anyway. All right. Guess we're good then. Let's go. Was he still supposed to be there? That was weird. That was odd. <laughs> I think I was supposed to talk to him before. <laughs> before I visited High Street. <laughs> That's alright. Let's see. I don't think yeah, I don't think the bus is running at night. That was Gilbert's. Everybody having a good time? Not me. Gotta go to work. Gotta be nice and fresh and doctorly. There's the fountain. Looks like they'd work on it, but it's not doing anything, so. That's curious. Yep, up to the hospital. St. Ursula's. We're going to mention something about the bear, maybe? I hope so. Or this, this Airstream, do we keep calling a truck? Nope. I wonder why that's there. That's, that's curious. Look at that town off in the distance. I wonder what it is. I wonder lore-wise if there's a... If they, like, mention what it is. Probably not. You never know, though. Some games get pretty deep into lore. I'm really surprised I won that board game. That was very odd. Hello. Love your statue. Keep up the good work. Oh, look at that. That is a really nice shadow. That's lovely. 
That reflection? That's that's reflection is just boss. Ready for the old match cut? Run in here. Change. What the scorp just happened? Come and get me, Ellie, if you dare. <laughs> Jelly leg, scaredy cat. What the heck's going on? Stand still. Why are you always such a chicken? Come here. What the scorp is going on? Hey, no running down here. My old nerves. What is going on? The Hendersons are going on. Oh, what's going on? They brought, this, they brought those two punks in this morning. Emergency, they said. Really, that seemed pretty healthy to me. Board emergency is more like it. That pair can't stay in their beds for more than one minute. They're always bickering. Should I go check on them? Up to you. I'm sure they'll get to know them soon enough. In fact, they're both in your ward. Someone probably should check on them too, though. Otherwise, we'll need two body bags before the day's out. All right, well, let's go check on them. Where'd they go? Where'd, they, where'd you go? I don't think I've been this way. That's stupid. You're stupid. You. No, you. Oh, you think it's funny, huh? No, I don't. I think you're stupid. You're stupid. What is going on here? Where'd you stole my dessert? That's not true. You just didn't get any dessert. What can I do about that? Liar. You're mean. You're mean. I didn't do anything. You always say that. Are they going in? Okay. I, I don't understand. Are they, are they siblings or are they... Husband and wife? I don't I don't understand. <laughs> like I, I guess I guess they're siblings. Oh no, have you seen the two brothers? They just came zooming by here. Guess they haven't ripped each other's heads off just yet. They're two brothers. Okay, got it. <laughs> I guess not. Sound like one stole the other's dessert. Oh man. I'll be honest, I wouldn't stand for that either. But they both need to calm down a bit before one of them keels over. I'll keep an eye on him. But I make it two. First night shift, right? Yep. I've only done early or late shifts up to now. Oh boy. Nervous? Nervous? Why? Should I be? Crazy things happen at night here. I'll be glad to be out here in a minute. I'll tell you. Have a nice evening then. See you in the morning? Only have survived the night, kiddo. Okay. Weirdo. Take the stairs. Stay healthy. Okay, up we go. And with that, we're on the ground floor. This is the first floor. Remember, European numbering. Second floor. Third floor. On to the night shift. And we'll handle that night shift, but that will have to wait for the next video. Thank you so much for watching this wonderful, wonderful game, Follow Porcupine. Just delightful. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time for more Fall of Porcupine. See you next time.